ostrich, the biggest and most dangerous bird on the planet. When we think of dangerous birds, animals like eagles and hawks come to mind first. Sharp beaks, long talons, and large wingspans make them excellent predators. But there's one bird that's much more dangerous than that. It's a bird that can win a race against a leopard, win a fight against a lion, and do all of that without even using its wings. This is Wild Facts, and today we'll tell you the story of the ostrich, the biggest and most dangerous bird on the planet. Before we start, consider subscribing to our channel and clicking the notification bell so you're the first one to see our new video. Ostrich 101 Before we talk about what specifically makes ostriches so dangerous and powerful, let's start with the basics. There are two species of ostrich, the common ostrich and the Somali ostrich, but the latter was thought to be the subspecies of the former as recently as 2014. Talking about subspecies, the common ostrich has three extant, the South African ostrich, the Maasai ostrich, and the North African ostrich. There was also the fourth subspecies called the Arabian ostrich, which was extensively hunted for its feathers, eggs, meat, and leather in the Arabian Peninsula. Sadly, it went extinct in the second part of the 20th century. All subspecies of the common ostrich are very similar in appearance and characteristics, the main difference being their habitats, as you could probably guess from the names. However, we're going to focus on the biggest subspecies, the North African ostrich. It's the biggest bird in the world, growing up to 9 feet or 275 centimeters tall and weighing up to 340 pounds or 154 kilograms. It's found in savannas and semi-deserts that are notoriously difficult to survive, with temperatures sometimes surpassing 105 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. The scorching sun and arid air push the ostrich to specifically adapt to such an environment. The ostrich regulates its body temperature by panting, just like dogs. However, unlike dogs, the bird doesn't have sweat glands and cannot cool itself by sweating. That's where its unique feathers come in. They basically act as a thermostat, regulating its body temperature. Feather flattening helps the ostrich preserve its body heat during cold nights, but more impressive is feather fluffing. By moving the feathers, the ostrich can create a 3-inch or 7.6 centimeter thick insulating layer of air which prevents it from overheating during hot days. The ostrich has also evolved a unique heart structure that's unlike flying birds and large nostrils supplying oxygen to the lungs that have 10 air sacs. Finally, its metabolism and great water retention ability allow the ostrich to get enough hydration from its diet and survive without water for days on end. So what's it eating? The ostrich is an omnivore, meaning its diet consists of both plant and animal-based foods. However, it's mainly built around plant material, and things like shrubs, grass, leaves, and bushes constitute over half of its total diet. The ostrich hunts only about 5% of its food, preying on small mammals, including various species of rodents, lizards, and frogs, and even insects like locusts and moths. Most interestingly is that as much as one-fifth of its diet by weight consists of rocks, pebbles, and minerals that aid in digestion. Unlike all birds, the ostrich doesn't have teeth, so it swallows its food whole. Such food is difficult to digest, so the ostrich keeps rocks in one of its two stomachs and uses them to grind up the food inside, making it easier to digest. You might have asked how the ostrich can be the most dangerous bird on the planet if it doesn't have teeth. And well, it's time to explore the lethal arsenal it possesses. How Ostriches Defeat Lions the ostrich inhabits the same areas as the big cats of Africa, including cheetahs, leopards, and lions. They are some, if not the most ferocious predators roaming the earth. The big cats are unmatched in speed and strength and are equipped with sharp claws and teeth that can penetrate even the thickest skin. So how possibly could a flightless bird that primarily eats plants and sometimes preys on mice and rats defeat animals like that? For starters, the ostrich is really good at avoiding such encounters in the first place. It's the owner of the biggest eyes of all land vertebrates, measuring 2 inches or 5 centimeters in diameter. Not only are these eyes huge, but they're also protected from the sun, dust, and sand by long eyelashes. It results in spectacular vision, making the ostrich capable of spotting predators miles away. However, the big cats of Africa are gifted with supreme hunting instincts and ambushing skills which allow them to sneak up on the ostrich without being noticed. 
Surprisingly, even that rarely ends poorly for the ostrich, as it's the fastest bipedal animal on Earth and can reach the speed of 45 miles per hour or 72 kilometers per hour. For comparison, that's faster than the top speed of leopards, who can reach 40 miles per hour or 64 kilometers per hour, and comparable to lions, who can run at 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers per hour for short bursts of time. All right, but what happens if the ostrich has nowhere to go and has to fight its attacker? Believe it or not, the bird is gifted with one of the most lethal weapons in the entire animal kingdom, kicks. According to some sources, the ostrich can kick with a force of 2,000 PSI. To put this into perspective, the bite force of a leopard is about 300 PSI, meaning the kick of a single ostrich packs nearly as much force as the bites of seven leopards combined. In addition to that, each foot of the ostrich is adorned with 4-inch or 10-centimeter long talons that's sharp enough to easily pierce through the skin of most animals. You might think leopards are nothing compared to lions, so how does the ostrich's kick measure up against the bite force of the lion? The biggest African cat has a bite force of about 650 PSI, meaning it would take three lions to generate as much force by biting as one ostrich can by kicking. However, that's not all, and the ostrich has another way of protecting itself from predators. Sometimes the ostrich can use its hard breastbone to ram into the target, knocking it over. Then the ostrich uses its natural gift of weight and starts jumping on the victim, crushing it alive. Just to remind you, the ostrich can weigh up to 340 pounds or 150 kilograms, and that's more than enough weight to seriously mess someone up. That being said, just knowing that the ostrich is more capable of being lethal is not enough to call it the most dangerous bird on the planet. Is it aggressive enough to use its weapons proactively? Does it attack humans? Ostrich behavior. First of all, the ostrich is a diurnal species, meaning it's active during the day. More importantly, it's one of the most territorial land animals, with males protecting areas spanning up to seven and three quarters square miles, or 20 square kilometers. If someone enters its territory, the ostrich isn't hesitant to show up and let them know who's the boss there. It's also necessary to mention that ostriches are some of the most hunted wild species in Africa. It's a highly prized game among indigenous peoples because the red and lean meat of a single ostrich can feed an entire village for weeks. Poachers also actively hunt ostriches as there are a few things a poacher can boast about more than accurately hitting a bird that's running 45 miles per hour. Not only that, but ostriches are widely farmed in many parts of the world, including Europe, Asia, Africa, and the US. As ostriches aren't fully domesticated, farming them is a risky endeavor. The ostrich aggressively lashing out at a farmer isn't something out of the ordinary and happens rather frequently. As you can see, there's a lot of interaction between humans and ostriches in both the wild and commercial settings. Because of that, every single year, several people lose their lives after being kicked or stomped on by an ostrich, and many more just barely survive after sustaining serious injuries. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and suggestions for future videos in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell, and check out our previous videos. Until next time.